a very warm welcome. Your reaction to day three of F1 testing. And once again, F1, an absolute shit show. Uh, I cannot believe it. 20 minutes into the start of day three, we have the same issue as yesterday at turn 11. Drivers exceeding limits because they're gaining an advantage. And that is going to have to be addressed come the first race. It's an absolute disgrace. We're at a desert track and it's covered in drains. And drains is basically red flag, red flag, red flag. Due to F1's incompetence, it makes the sport look absolutely just an embarrassment. It's absolutely disgraceful. It's a shambles. It happened on day two. That's bad enough. But for the same place, exactly the same place, is probably the same drain. It's a disgrace. F1 is looking so bad. And they'll be banging the drum, uh, rolling out Drive to Survive. Who cares? We need to get the house in order first. Um, yeah, the tracks need to be safe. Who's doing these ex Who's doing the inspections before like testing starts? They need sacked on the spot because they aren't doing it correctly. Clearly, it's a disgrace. The final day, a huge day, and once again, F1 steal the headlines by being incompetent. Sergio Perez run runs over the drain cover, and we're red flag. We're delayed. We're delayed. They actually added back on the time, which was good. But, yeah, just shocking. Really poor. Nowhere near good enough. Leclerc ended up fastest on the soft tyre. And probably the star of the session was Joe. But once again, we're not talking about F1 testing. We're talking about F1's incompetence at the highest level. How? How does it happen? A multi-million sport. Uh, multi-million pound sport and they can't get the house in order it's really poor so yeah once again that will claim the headlines um, yeah and they will be trying to gloss over it by promoting Drive to Survive honestly I, I care about Formula 1 they cut me open I bleed Formula 1 I cover Formula 1 every day I care about this sport for me Honestly, there needs some serious changes. What are these people doing on their track inspections? I have no idea. This circuit is a good circuit. 20 years on the calendar. This should not be happening. Leclerc, P1, 74 laps. George Russell, 67 laps. Guang Yu Zhou, impressive in third with 85 laps. Max follows, 66 laps. One foot one, 53 laps. Alex Albon in all day, 121 laps. Oscar Piastri comes in 7th with 91. Fernando Alonso, 75. At least he's got a pair to call it out. Why are we not bringing two cars to testing? Testing's not enough. The drivers, they're screaming for time in the car. We only have one and a half days. Oh, we know what we'll do. We'll make the track basically crumble away so you get less time. Brilliant. Carlos Sainz, 71 laps. Sergio Perez, 53 laps. Nico Hülkenberg with a lot of laps there, 89. Lewis Hamilton, 49. 13th, Lance Stroll with 46. 14th, Lando Norris, wow, with 20 laps. Now that is worrying, considering uh, Piastri did 91. Seven, uh, no, 15th, Gasly, 47. Magnussen, 80 laps. Ocon, 55. Bottas with only 28. And Daniel Ricciardo with 70. Now I'm going to run down my pecking order. This is what I believe the order will be come Bahrain. So first, Red Bull. Second, Ferrari. Third, McLaren. Fourth, Mercedes. Fifth, Aston Martin. Sixth, Racing Bulls. Seventh, Alpine. Eighth, Williams. Sauber ninth and Haas last. That's what I think the pecking order is on the back of testing. But I've got to say, all the run headlines for Formula One, a huge sport, a huge sport. Imagine you're a new fan. You're tuning in for the first time. You watch testing, really excited. You're turning off straight away. I mean, I plan to watch testing today. I've gone out to the beach all day. That's probably why my reaction so much later. Sick and tired of it. And it probably will happen next week.
the race is here next week. What are they going to do about this track? I have no idea. The drivers are going out there because they're gaining an advantage. They're going to have to slap track limits at that corner. They wouldn't be going out there if there's no gain. Um, really poor, really poor. Oh, you can watch Drive to Survive after you've been let down by testing. Um, yeah, not good, not good. The sport should be better, should be in a better place. The calendars, it's ramsacked, ramsacked, 24. Mechanics, media, drivers, they're going to be burnt out like fuck because F1 want 24 races in. We can't even fit a German Grand Prix in there, but we go round the world 24 times. I'm ranting. I'm not happy. Honestly, F1 taking the piss. They need some serious kick up the asses because we care about this sport and they are making it look like a laughing stock. Just, oh, watch Drive to Survive. Foot Drive to Survive. Get the tracks in order. Safety should be paramount and it's not. Imagine one of them drains flies up and hits someone in the helmet. We'll be having a Felipe Massa Massa incident um, and we don't want to see that thanks for watching yeah not happy again adios the season's one week away though that excites me